I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so down. What is up everyone? My name is Andrew. If you don't know me, you should subscribe because like why not? You should also hit the notification bell down below to be notified every time I upload a new video, as soon as I upload a new video. But anyway, today I am going to be doing my October wrap up. I participated and hosted the Trick or Treatathon all throughout October. If you missed it, who knows, maybe we'll try it again next year and make some changes and improve it even more. But it was so fun and I want to really quick shout out all of the hosts and all of my friends who joined in. Um, it was really fun and I loved doing all of our live shows. Those were definitely one of my favorite parts of the readathon. But I had eight books on my TBR and I ended up getting through four of them and one of them wasn't even on the TBR. But hey, hi, hi. So the first book that I got through was Life Like by J. Kristoff. This one was pretty much a sci-fi fantasy-esque book as we would, you know, expect from Jay Kristoff, but it dealt with these lifelike kind of robots that were similar to humans but were not humans. They were not born, they were made and created, but they were so realistic to humans. Eve gets caught up with a bunch of different problems and the lifelike, there is this one lifelike, his name is Ezekiel, and they meet and he claims to know her and know a lot of stuff about her and she has this internal dilemma because she's confused as to why this boy remembers her and she has no idea who he is and all of her life and everything is just kind of falling apart and re-coming together and she's making these huge realizations about her past that she had no idea she even needed to try to figure out. It was a pretty good book. I gave it four out of five stars. I enjoyed it. I think that it's not my favorite book by Jay Kristoff, but it was still an enjoyable read and it got, I got through it pretty quickly and the ending was insane. Insane. I don't even know what that was. If you've read this, what even? Like, I can't even explain it, but the ending made it worth it for me, which if a book, you know, has a really good ending, it goes up a star. So this book was at like a 3 or 3.5, but it went up to 4 because I was like, okay, he knows how to write an ending and I was very confused. <laughs> the next book that I finished was The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. I don't have the physical copy because I let my friend borrow it, of course, because it's such a good book. But I really loved The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. I have an entire book review on it. I can link it up here. But I gave it 5 out of 5 stars. And if you don't know what The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue is about, it is by V.E. Schwab. It is an adult fantasy about Addie LaRue, who is a girl who made a deal with the devil to live forever, be immortal. But in exchange for that, she will be forgotten by everybody who meets her. Like, the minute they leave, they don't know who she is at all. And I was so intrigued by that premise. I was so intrigued by V.E. Schwab. I do love her works. So when I finally read The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue, I had some high hopes and I was not let down. I think V.E. Schwab has an incredible writing style. It's very unique and flowery kind of. I don't even know if I use the term flowery right, but to me it's like elegant. Like if she's going to describe something, she's going to go all out and describe something. She's not just going to say this is blue. She's going to compare it to like a vast ocean. Does that even make sense? I don't know. But that's just how she wrote this book and I loved it. I thought it was beautiful. I thought it was a masterpiece. Definitely my favorite read of October. It was just so good. I literally miss Addie LaRue every day. I think about that book so much and I'm so grateful that I read it. It was just amazing. I also read it in like two days, but Anyway, <laughs> the next book I finished was The Gilded Wolves by Roshani Chosky. This book is a young adult fantasy, I believe. Um, I think it's young adult. It's about a group of friends who all have different skill sets who work together and are trying to find and steal a certain artifact and they all have kind of different motives and reasons to get this artifact and go on any of these missions. I gave this one four stars. I thought it was pretty good. Um, I mean, clearly because I gave it four stars, but it took me a long time to get through this one. I wish I would have picked it up later because I really thought it was going to be a fast read, but it was not. It took me like two weeks, which is a lot longer than I like to spend on books, um, just because I usually do not spend that long on one book. But I did enjoy the characters. I didn't so much enjoy the plot. I think that it was confusing. Um, and I think I gave it enough time, two weeks, to make it not confusing, and I did read it, like, in depth, 
but it was still a bit confusing. Some things were not explained and I didn't know if I was supposed to just assume and like pretend I knew or just some stuff like that. But I did overall get the plot and by the end of the book I was rooting for the characters and I really did love the cast of characters. A couple of them were morally gray and I love that. Um, Severin, I love him. Layla, my girl. Um, I really want to read Silvered Serpents, especially by the way this one left off. I, I should have picked it up, but I didn't buy it. I don't have it yet. But that one is definitely high up on my list of books to read. I believe it just came out kind of recently. So I'm definitely going to continue with the series and I'm intrigued. I would read more by Roshani Chashki, but overall Gilded Wolves fell a little bit flat for me, but I still loved it. I still enjoyed the characters and I would still recommend it to other people. So the final book that I finished is one that was not on my TBR, but it was Throne of Glass by Sarah J Mass. I actually read it on audiobook or listened to it on audiobook. I found it on YouTube. This girl just posted every chapter um, and she read it like an audiobook and it was free. So I was like, okay. And I just started listening to it and I completely flew through it in like a week and on my way to work or on my way home from work I just listened to it all the time and I uh loved it even more the second time I gave it five stars I don't know what I gave it the last time I read it or the first time I read it which was at the end of last year but I gave it five stars because there's so many connections to the end of the series in the first book and it's insane to me how authors can connect that far and like keep those continuities throughout the series. I love it. The story is something definitely close to my heart because I love Selena. I love seeing her journey um, throughout the entire series. So going back and getting to, <laughs> hi, going back and getting to start the beginning was um, something very enjoyable for me. And this month was my birthday month. So I think I gave myself like that room to reread a favorite because of that. But hi, calm down. But yeah, this was the last book that I actually completed. Five stars. Didn't give any book lower than a four stars this month. So love that for me, but I only read four, but it's fine. Um, I also started The Diviners. I got a hundred pages in and I DNF'd it. I know. I'm so sorry. I just feel like so many people love this book. Um, my friend Therese and Lisa also read it with, uh, with me. We buddy read it. Therese had already read it. Lisa hadn't, and Lisa at least finished it, but I didn't. Um, and I know just so many people around booktube love The Diviners, and I knew that I was never really drawn to it, but I was like, well, let me give it a shot, and I still just, I knew it wasn't for me. Very early on, I really did want to like this book, but I didn't, and I didn't want to give a lot of time to a book that's this big, and I wasn't going to continue with the series. So, I don't know what I'm going to do with this book. I might sell it on Depop, um, or, I don't know, give it to somebody, but it's not for me, but I do love this cover. I think it's a cute book. I see why people like it, but I just didn't. Also started Dracula and I, I didn't get past page 25, but I'm still working on it. I do want to finish Dracula. I do love me some, you know, older classics, so I will continue this one. But other than that, that is all the books that I read. Not too much, not too much going on. Oh, I also started Crown of Midnight. Yes, I have the second book in the Zone of Glass series. I am also like halfway through with that one. And I'm also like halfway through with Red Rising. I've just been all over the place with my books so technically I've read a lot of pages more than four books but didn't complete them but I'm gonna work on that so hopefully next month I will read quite a few more because we're coming close to the end of the year and I'm excited to see all of my stats and see how many books I've read throughout 2020 but that is pretty much all for this video so comment a book emoji if you stay till the end of this video I always like to see who watches all of my videos but anyway I hope you liked this video I hope you like this video down below and I'll see you guys in the next one bye she said a favorite color yellow it look good on her dress trying to be slim thick nothing less but she's falling in and out of love